it's just the most complex thing. So how do you want to, do you want to discuss what the protocols would be if somebody wanted to import a horse, how they would start? Okay. Assuming uh, they found a horse that they liked and is sound and, you know. Okay. So obviously that's the first thing that you do is um, most people will obviously head off overseas with their coaches, look for the horse, um, set up the five or six of the top horses that they want to do and put the, the best ones through the vetting. And then it's a case of first thing we need to do is get a payment done. Um, there are some clients that are lucky enough that have the facilities and the ability in, to make those payments. Making Forex payments from South Africa is not the easiest thing. You need an export code. You need um, to, all the right reasons in which to do it. Some banks will let you do it. Not a lot of the banks will let you do it unless you have all of the right paperwork in place. It's quite a starting stumbling block so, to have. I yeah. haven't thought about it. Okay. Um, so that's the first stumbling block that most clients come across is they've now got this horse and they can't pay for it. And mm. then the seller on the other end gets a little bit frustrated because the money's taking way too long mm. to come. So first point of call is we start with a payment for the horse. Then it's obviously looking to see what quarantine it will fit into. We generally ship horses in roughly every seven weeks. Um, and then we need to get the horses collected from wherever they are, sent to the quarantine station. And what quarantine facilities do you work through mostly, like from Europe, for example? So mostly from Holland. I like Holland because I've had a very good relationship with them over the last 12 years. They're close to the airport, which cuts down on your travel time from when you actually load them in the box to get to the airport for the time that they fly. They've got to be at the airport five hours before the actual flight. Um, so if you're having them further away than that, you're adding long to the day. travel time. It's a long time. And then you've got a 10 and a half hour flight from um, Holland to South Africa. Okay. So they start off at the quarantine facility. What happens before they're accepted at the quarantine facility? So generally, there's not much that needs to be done in order for them to ex uh, be accepted into the quarantine facility. Um, stallions can only come in if they're EVA positive. If you can prove that they're positive from a vaccine, it becomes very, very difficult to bring an EVA positive okay. stallion in. Um, they have to have been vaccinated under quarantine conditions. So they actually need to have gone through a quarantine and been vac uh, tested negative for EVA and then vac vaccinated for EVA. And you have to have all of that proof. And most of the guys in Europe don't do it like that because it just takes way too much time. Okay. Okay. So they've, so, so not so many bloods to do as when you're sending a horse out. They go into quarantine, and how long do they have to stand in quarantine before coming onto so the plane? It's a minimum of 30 days in the quarantine oh, station. It's quite long. Um, they need to be have completed that 30 days by the time the health certificate is signed. So we, it's normally a Saturday or a Sunday flight, so they're normally there for 31 or 32 days because when a state vet or the ministry vet, as they call them in the EU, come out to sign the papers, um, they need to have completed that 30 days already. So they're normally looking at 31 to 30, 32 days quarantine. Sometimes they're there at the quarantine station for a little longer. That depends on the seller. Sometimes the seller wants the horse gone as soon as it's paid for, in which case it needs to be collected and okay. taken somewhere as quickly as possible. So but generally it's about 31, 32 days. That they're okay. going to stay in Sorry, and then they land. How long are they in quarantine in South Africa? So landing in South Africa, they're in quarantine for another minimum of 30, 30 days quarantine. It, again, it's normally about 30, 31 days. Uh, this first day of quarantine is counted as the day after all the horses have arrived. Okay. So if they all, all land by the Sunday, Monday is day one of quarantine, and then it's 30 days okay. from there. Um, are they retested again for the diseases? They that are they retested need? exactly the same as they were tested overseas. All the tests are redone, so they're tested again for yeah, pretty much everything. 